the Tampa Palms Golf and Country Club, Florida. The kind of place people come to kick back and enjoy the high life. But its ponds and lakes are also home to creatures that have barely changed since the dinosaurs. Alligators are very common in Florida. And almost any freshwater system can have alligators in it. And that's one of the things that people need to be aware of, is that just because they haven't seen an alligator in an area doesn't mean there isn't one right now. The lake by hole 13 is the territory of this seven-foot alligator. He's always hungry, and he's not too picky. As long as they can catch it and eat it, almost anything is potential prey. And they'll take things as big as deer occasionally. Golfers on this course are always in striking distance of gators, but no one has been attacked yet. Sixty-two-year-old Ike Monreal owns a golf ball retrieval service, diving for lost balls in the lakes here. He normally pairs up with one of his sons, but today, he's working solo. Well, I get as many as 12,000 balls in a single day. And at this time and point, I was being paid eight cents per ball. Ike's been doing this job for the last 15 years and knows how dangerous it can be. I've been nudged not knowing the alligator was in the water. That happens. They'll stay down for 15, 20 minutes. So I've been bumped, nudged, nipped, tail whipped. Almost all of us divers working in the southeastern United States, we have close calls like that. The gator is getting hungrier by the minute. The hot weather triggers its need to kill and feed. Alligator activity is related to temperature. When temperatures get to their highest, uh, alligators are trying to feed uh, on a very regular basis. That's a big concern for Ike. When I approach a lake, I'll look and make sure I'm the only participant in the water. He sees a familiar sight. Saw the usual seven, seven and a half foot gator that's there all the time. Ike keeps a close eye on the reptile. Females occasionally do attack humans, but it's not as common as, as males. Males get a lot bigger than females. The coast seems clear, but Ike has yet to notice that another gator is also in the pond. And this one is a gigantic 400-pound male. Generally speaking, the larger the alligator, the greater potential problem with a, uh, an attack on a human. Ike gets on with his job. The limited visibility means he can't see the 10-foot gator coming straight at him. A gator determined to protect his new territory. I was just about ready to come out of the water. I had enough air left. Life was good. I was just working away at it. And that's when the gator moves in. All of a sudden, something clicked at the alligator and says, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Searing pain shoots through Ike. The horrific force, the slamming effect, the excruciating pain, and I knew it was going to be life or death. Like a sledgehammer, the gator's jaws slammed down on his shoulder with 2,000 pounds of pressure. Teeth are very sharp, and they can lacerate and tear. But they don't 
actually sever like a shark's teeth would do. So uh, an alligator's teeth are mainly meant for holding on. The pain, in all honesty, on a scale of one to 10 was an 11. I have never felt that kind of pain before in my life. If the prey item's too big to swallow whole, they'll try and spin off pieces. Ike sees his left shoulder disappear into the gator's jaws. One quick spin, and his arm could be ripped right off. I couldn't bring my arm back to me, so I thought I had already lost my arm. Ike stares right into the eye of a monster. That big, lifeless, dead eye, that look, that eye was right here. I tried getting up and you know, going for the bank. Incredibly, he crawls towards shore with the alligator still latched onto his shoulder. Seeing two golfers nearby, he desperately tries to get their attention. They can barely believe what they're seeing. Ike is fighting for his life. I said to myself, you have got to keep your head together here. I can't last much longer, and he knows it. As well as being ripped apart, he could easily drown. He had such size and girth, he just drug me right back down again. An alligator will try and get the, the victim off balance, trying to drag them out to deeper water. Once it's drowned, then they will dine on it at their leisure. Ike struggles. He needs to make sure that he keeps his oxygen supply. Without it, he will die in minutes. I said to myself, you pass out, the regulator falls out of your mouth, and you're going to die here. That's when I, I prayed to God. For Ike, it's now or never. He needs to do something, and fast. I worked my hand around his snout. I was able to turn into him. My shoulder is as far back into his jaw as it can go. Ike jams his thumb in the reptile's eye. The most vulnerable part of an alligator is probably its eyes. Uh, Everything else is pretty well protected. But the move barely phases the gator. Well, an alligator might expect to have slight pressure to its eye if it, if it grabs a, a large prey item. Ike could be seconds from dying. He reaches back with everything he's got. That's when I stuck my thumb as far back into his eye and as down as far as I could. The move stuns the gator. Then when he went further in, this was something that was totally unexpected by the alligator. He just went ballistic. The bite got worse, and that's when he tried to roll me. They will uh, grab a hold of an appendage and then spin in the water to try and get that appendage uh, torn off. He's in so much pain, Ike can't keep his thumb in the gator's eye socket. I was thinking that it was, it was, you know, the demise. The end was there. I saw my wife and my three teenage sons looking down at me. And I said, that's not going to work. I said, I am not going to die out here. I am not going to give up. Whatever it takes, I'm coming out of the water. Luckily, the fight takes them into the shallows. At last, Ike can get a foothold. Now he can stop the gator from rolling him. 
I was not going to let him kill me. I was not going to let him drown me. And then I goes in for another attack. I certainly wasn't going to let him sit there and twist off whatever he had in his mouth. I took my thumb again, took a deep breath, and slammed it in his eye socket. And I swear I got halfway to his brain. Alligators can feel and react to pain. They don't like that. Against all odds, the giant's jaws finally snap open. Ike seizes the opportunity and desperately tries to get out of the water. They learn very fast and probably realize this was not the type of thing that, that it wanted to pursue. Ike scrambles onto the bank before the gator changes his mind and comes back. I looked up at the, the gentleman that was standing on the green. I said, just make sure he doesn't come out of the water after me. I said, I don't think I can handle another bite. The alligator swims away. He went out into the deeper part of the swamp. And at that point, I knew I was safe. You all right? Are you okay? He dislocated my shoulder. My shoulder wasn't attached anymore. There were teeth holes an inch across, an inch and a half deep over the shoulder. It's bad, but things could have been far worse. Ike's 17-year-old son had originally been scheduled to work that day. He wouldn't have had the size or the experience. The horrific fact of all of this is I would have lost my son. Ike may never fully regain the use of his arm. He and his sons have not returned to the water since the attack. My sons do not dive anymore. My business is Ike and sons. My boys I'll not let go in the water anymore. So do I want to get even? You betcha. Four hours after the attack, a state licensed trapper captures an eight foot alligator from the lake. 50 feet from the scene of the crime. If we didn't do that, there is no doubt there would be a lot more attacks because alligators become habituated, and if they have a successful attack, they'll come back for another one. Ike doesn't believe the trapper got the one that wanted him as prey. I think she trapped the smaller, the seven and a half, eight footer that was there. And I do not think to this day that it was that smaller gator. In that case, the gator that nearly killed him is still out there.